Hello everyone, how are you? I am back shooting uh, videos. Wow, two days in a row. That's uh, actually may not be the first time. Anyhow, uh, so let's look at this guitar. It is a PRS single cut 245 made in USA. It is model year 2009. It is not a brand new guitar. Well, it, I bought it brand new, but it's not a uh, like a new model year model. So, um, you know, uh, just quickly going through the uh, specs, you know, you got the uh, mahogany body, maple top, rosewood fingerboard, beautiful dot inlay, not the famous PRS bird inlay, but um, the dots are just gorgeous when you look up close personal. Uh, you could tell it's not mother of toilet seat cover. Um, vintage style tuners. These tuners are solid, by the way. Um, they're not the locking tuners, PRS locking tuners like the ones I have on my 25th anniversary custom 24, but these are solid. They, they have good grip and um, love these tuners. And um, the neck, um, I forget what profile, but you know, it, it's reasonably chunky. It's not uh, thin by any stretch of imagination. Um, so it's pretty round. And you know, when you look at this guitar, it's just gorgeously done, right? Um, no binding on the neck or the headstock, but the binding that's on the body, just, ju just gorgeous. You could tell it's not some piece of cheap plastic. And um, the fret shot is where I, I think this guitar is separated from the rest of the group. The fret just, just very nicely done frets. I mean, you ha have your fingers go on the edge of the fretboard like this, just smooth as butter. Um, the way they are laid onto the fretboard, you compare it to some of the other guitars, you know, imports or uh, lower, even lower grade Gibsons. I mean, the, the, the fret job is just impeccable, just great, um, very well done. So now uh, let's talk about the finish. So PRS obviously is very well known for their highly figured maple top and such, right? So when you look at this guitar, it just painted solid red. Um, you know, I, trust me, it doesn't bother me because I'm a huge fan of red guitars and this is gorgeous shade of red. I love it. Um, but because of that reason, this guitar didn't cost me nearly as much as, you know, some of the higher end ones like the 10 top ones, you know, that would have... Um, you know, uh, quilted top or the um, flame maple or what have you. So, you know, it's looking for that type of opportunity, right? Um, it's a guitar that I love and I don't care what it looks like. That's why I bought it. And, you know, that's where the value proposition came in. Even yesterday when I put out the um, RG video, a lot of guys asked me, hey, how can you afford, you know, all the guitars or whatever. Well, you know, it's looking for the right opportunity. This guitar was severely discounted because of, of the fact that it was a year old or two years old, whatever it was. And um, it was kept in very good shape. Now, one of the things that obviously you need to look out for when you buy a guitar that's year or two model years old, I avoid big box retail shops like Sam Ash or Musicians Front, I'm, I'm sorry, Guitar Centers, because High-end guitars like PRS or Gibsons, what have you, even though they are hung on the wall and sometimes hard to grab, um, they've been sitting at that store, hung on the wall, sometimes even transported back and forth between different stores. And, I mean, let's face it, they're just not going to give you know, as much care as they are handling the guitar. And, you know, that's mostly true. So anyhow, this guitar I got from a um, boutique PRS dealer that's local and, you know, I was able to score a really nice deal with all that. And the guitar was, you know, kept, you know, locked in the case, you know, secured away. And only way they showed it was um, online and I was able to obviously see, them in per see it in person when I got to the shop. So that's what, um, how this guitar uh, came about. Um, the pickups, you know, SC single cut bass, single cut treble. Um, this guitar, when I bought it, I was offered the opportunity to send it to Maryland, the PRS factory, and for them to uh, retrofit 5809, or was it 5708? I forget. 
but um, I was offered that opportunity but I decided to keep the pickups the way they are because I have another PRS uh, the custom 24 25th anniversary that has that pickup combination so I wanted you know the other PRS to have different pickup combination so there you go and you know obviously the guitar of this caliber you know <laughs> would be so much better uh, would be so much better handled by somebody who's way more qualified than, qualified than I am but you know it's one of the guitars that I feel really good about right I mean let's not kidding, kid, kid ourselves, it is a uh, Les Paul type of guitar. And you know, with that story, obviously back in, what is it, 2001, 2002, uh, Gibson sued PRS for this particular design single cut because basically they said, hey, they ripped us off. Um, <clears throat> so the injunction was ordered where um, Gibson won that lawsuit and the court ordered PRS to stop manufacturing single cut. Well, then the appeal came about or what have you and the injunction was lifted and PRS has started to make these guitars again. I want to say 2005, 2006-ish and um, consequently Gibson lost another appeal and another, they escalated to higher co court and they also um, rejected the appeal which is why PRS uh, kept making the single cuts. And, you know, one of the reasons that Gibson said in the lawsuit was, hey, in a smoky, like, concert venue environment, the audience may not be able to distinguish this guitar from our flagship model, the, you know, Gibson Les Paul. And when the, when, when Gibson's claim was tossed, basically the, decision that came down was, hey, only an idiot would confuse the PRS a single cut to a Gibson Les Paul at, um, at you know, stores or what have you, which obviously makes sense. If you are plunking down that kind of money on a PRS or, you know, US Gibson, you know, you know, guitars, you're not a, you know, noob mom walking into guitar center buying the, you know, 139, you know, starter pack. So at that point, you're an educated buyer and you would know the difference. So um, <clears throat> obviously that made sense and PRS has started to make these again. And you know, this guitar feels absolutely phenomenal when you hold it, right? Um, another, I, you know, I have the, what is it? Gibson, Les Paul, Traditional Plus, the Gold Top and uh, Cherry Burst. And you know, it, they feel very similar when you hold it. And this guitar just feels, you know, just awesome. And I don't know if you guys can relate to this, I'm going to sound like a dork, but when you open the U.S. Gibson out of the case and U.S. PRS out of the case, they have very distinctive smell. Gibsons all smell the same. I, I don't know if it's, it's because of the, um, the material that they make the case with or, you know, wood. I, I don't know. But all Gibsons smell the same and all PRS smell the same. And just that the moment you bust it out of the case, it just already feels, wow, I'm, I'm handling a premium, uh, premier, you know, instrument. And it just, you know, it feels so solid when you hold it and so easy to play. And it's just, it's just so, it feels righteous. And, um, you know, that's how this guitar came about. And, you know, what else can I share with you? Um, you know, a lot of people say, hey, you talk too much, you don't play as much. Well, you know what, uh, if you, <laughs> I, I love talking, uh, obviously, and that's why a lot of you leave comments, I always answer back most of the times, right? And it's a very lengthy reply back from me because I love talking about this shit. If I didn't, I would never put out videos. So there you go, there's my um, PRS US Single Cut 245. By the way, um, they don't make it like this anymore. Um, you know, they now have the um, bridge and a stop tail with a whole lot more finish options and, um, you know, still very awesome guitars. You know, PRS does this. Whereas, you know, Gibson, there's not a whole lot of difference when you buy 2008 Les Paul Standard versus 2009 Les Paul Standard, right? Differences are slim or none. Whereas PRS, every year, they make the owners of the previous model year feel jealous about the new year because there's some kind of an improvement or some other reasons why that upgrade is 
you know, more attractive to new, new buyers or what have you. So, um, you know, that's something that I wanted to uh, also share with you. Anyhow, there you go. I already talked too much. I'm going to go edit this video and put it out. And until next time, take care.